In this video, I'll show you how to conduct Cox with time varying covariate when exposure status change over time. We are using Stanford heart transplant data and cohort of patients. And a patient and whose name is listed on transplant wait list. So time zero for this analysis is where their names are listed on the wait list. And so ID number one person and this person followed, this is time zero, over time and then died at day 50. Okay. This person unfortunately did not receive heart transplant and died. And ID this is ID number one person and ID number three person and this person receive transplant after day one lucky enough to receive transplant that Ali followed for 16 days and unfortunately died on day 16. So the key point of time varying covariate analysis when the exposure status change over time is analysis need to consider the time before transplant, so this is where this patient get transplant. Time before transplant as not having transplant. And time after transplant as having transplant. Okay. Uh, so there are two types of data format and you may use in analyze this data. And one is called the counting process data format. And in this data format, you do is for patient who received transplant, and you split follow-up time. Okay, so let me rewrite this person's data again. Day one is received transplant, and then day sixteen and died. Time zero is wait list time when their name was placed on the list. Okay, and then uh, you can create this two variables for time, start time and stop time. So what this means is for ID number three person, you put the data on two different rows, okay? And then first row, and you put the start time of zero, and then stop time of one, okay? And then you let SPSS know event did not occur at the end of day one, so it's no events. Right? And for this interval, this person did not receive transplant. And then the second row, and you start another interval, you start at day 1, and then you stop at day 16. So for the second interval, and you know this person died. Okay? And then also receive transplant. Okay? And so by splitting data into two different rows, uh, you are able to differentiate an uh, interval where patient received transplant and the where patient did not receive transplant. Okay? So this is called a counting process data format. And SPSS, however, require horizontal data entry. And this horizontal data entry, instead of using start and stop time, and you let SPSS know the time of receiving transplant. So ID number three person and transplant was placed uh, day one, okay? And then this patient unfortunately died at day 16. Okay. And although for ID number one person, this patient did not receive transplant and then died at day 50. Okay. So in the SPS, what it does is for example, for ID number one person, and during the time interval, so this person 0 to 50, and SPSS checked whether the time of transplantation is within this range, and if it is, and automatically split this interval into two intervals, okay? And then the first one is recognized not having transplant, and then second interval is recognized having transplant. So essentially, SPSS does create the same setup as a counting process data format, but it does it uh, for you internally without you 
creating data set in this way. Okay. And so there is a trick you need to know before you proceed. And trick is Okay. And for patient who did not have a transplant, and you need to assign fake time of transplant uh, with a number greater than any of the number you see in the follow-up time. So the biggest number in this follow-up time is 1,386 days. So as long as you assign any number larger than this number, you will be okay. So what SPSS does is check if this 10,000 days is falling within this interval. Okay. If it does, and then it split. If it doesn't, and then it doesn't split. So for the person who never received heart transplantation, and you will assign entire period as not having transplant, because this period is less than 10,000 days. So once you create this trick in the data set, and rest of it is easy. So what you do, okay, so let's do it together. Let's do it together. So this is a data set. Okay. So first, we are assigning 10,000 uh, for patient who didn't receive transplant. Okay. The patient who didn't receive transplant ever underscore transplantation variable is coded as zero. They never received transplant. And so we go to compute variable and time of transplant. We assign 10,000 and uh, put the condition if ever transplant equals zero okay and then click ok All right so let's go back to data set and yes it did work and then after this and you go to survival cox with time dependent recovery okay let me reset you put this T underscore in expression box and then uh, do time trans trans time trans okay. and so uh, what this does is interval which is greater than time transplantation time tram will be coded as having exposure if it's less than time of transplantation coded as zero for transplant okay that makes sense and go to the model uh, let me reset again and you put the time under time and then status and put the one defining event and now uh, all you do is put the t underscore cov underscore so this is the time varying covariate right so this will call zero before transplant time of transplant and one after time of transplant and then all you do is click OK. And that should be the end. And go, so let's look at the result. Okay. And after you consider time varying nature of this transplantation variable, and we did not see any significant effect on transplantation. So having a heart transplant, uh, actually hazard of dying increased by 2.6 percent and which was not statistically significant so this is a result and surprisingly this result is totally different and what okay when you analyze this data ignoring timing of transplantation so now i will show you the wrong analysis using a regular cox regression which is uh, you go to analyze and uh, okay this is a regular Cox regression. Okay. So this model does not take into account time varying nature of exposure. So all you do is you put the time and status. And then here. Okay. And you put the ever transplant. Okay. So as you know, the ever transplant is one for people who eventually had a transplant and zero for for people who never had transplant. And this model does not take into account timing of transplantation. Right? So if you run this model and you have overwhelmingly large effect of transplantation, and the result would say there is 71% risk reduction of death 
by having transplantation. But you know that is confounded by this time in model bias. Because for patient for patient to receive transplant, they have to survive longer. So it was not really the transplant prolonging survival. So uh, correct analysis is Cox with time variant covariate.